Is it really possible to open closed eyes in our photos? Today we are going to be looking at how we can open closed eyes in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative. I like the manners. My name is your first time on this channel. Please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's jump into it. This is the model we are going to be using. As you can see, the eyes are closed. So how can we open these eyes? Okay, let me take for example, like maybe you are shooting a model and you have several shots with open eyes and you just have this particular one, closed eyes, and you love this shot so much and you cannot do away with that. So what do we do about this? Let's open up the eyes. So we are going to be using these other shots to replace the eyes. That means to open the eyes. So I'm going to use my lasso to to select, roughly select this face round. So we have this selection. It can be rough, it can be a kind of, it's not, you don't need to be that precise. Then you use your control, control C to copy, then control V to paste. Then we have this, we have this face cut out from this image and we can use our move to, to move it, to drag it to the next image and drop it here. Then before you start ever placing this thing, you have to see if the image is facing towards the same direction. Let's see, this image is a kind of, it's facing left, more of left, and this other one is facing more of right. So how can we do that? You have to right click and flip horizontal. Then after flipping horizontal, we we'll just go to our fill and reduce the fill, then zoom in closer to check and balance the eyes and the size of the eyes let's say let's take the lip for a kind of let's try and see if the lip match because this is we are dealing with the same person not other person's face so it's very easy so we have to match with the lips and secondly you can see use the eyebrow to to match it so as you can see we just have a kind of I think we should be good to go like this let's increase it a bit and balance it to the lip and the eyebrow so I think it's a little bit okay if not perfect let's say hit ok and the next thing we do is to take our opacity or fill back to 100 percent now this is what we have here and the next thing we do we have to select the background image and use ctrl j to duplicate the background image then after duplicating we make sure this image is selected the background copy is selected then we hold our ctrl to click the top face image then after clicking that we notice that we have the selection back then what we, what we do with this selection now is for us to cut out this selection but before cutting out this selection we have to reduce the selection so as to create space that photoshop is going to use in matching these two images we are going to make sure this image is selected and we'll go to select modify then contrast then we have to contrast with between 5, 6 and 7. Let's just hit OK for 7 for this image. I think I believe it's OK. Then if you take a look at inside here, you'll notice that the selection has gone a little inside, creating thereby creating a little space. We are going to delete this part from this particular image's copy, background copy layer. Then after deleting it, you'll notice that, as you can see, we have the face of this background copy deleted then after that you use your control d to deselect so you have to select both of this image the deleted face and the face itself and go to edit auto blend layer then in here you will notice we have stack image then you have paranoia make sure this two is checked seamless tone and color you know then content aware fill and all that panorama then hit ok So, this is what we have here. Look at this image now. 
it's hard to believe that the eyes was closed so let's see the before and after i have to put off these two and close this up and see the before then after this is before this is after close your eyes open your eyes close your eyes open your eyes isn't that amazing so that's a very simple way you can use in getting your loved photos back that is it for today's video if you find it interesting helpful and useful let us know in the comment section telling us how it has helped the area it has not and the area we need to improve on like i said earlier if you are new on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not only by hitting that subscribe button also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video thanks for watching today's video creative people keep on creating please stay creative bye for now see you in the next video bye